What's up, Star Wars fans? Today I got predictions for you on the episode 7 of The Bad Batch. As always, I asked you on the community tab what you thought was going to be happening in this next episode, and you guys commented some great predictions, so let's get right into them. And our first comment here is by Elijah, and he states simply, Sid will send the Bad Batch to Raxus for another mission. And for those who don't remember, the planet Raxus actually served as the capital planet of the Confederacy of Independent Systems. So I'd have to agree with Elijah here, I think one of the things that the Bad Batch is doing really well is getting us to see these different places throughout the Outer Rim and what's happening to these various places under the rule of the Empire. And Raxus would certainly be an interesting world to visit, as I think the Empire might be coming down on its population rather hard. But let's move on to another comment that had a lot of upvotes, and that was from Axe to the Max. And he states, What I think Episode 7 will include is Crosshair and his squad going on another mission to which they go after Saw Gerrera once again. The Bad Batch will somehow be notified about this attack, and they will debate whether they want to protect the famous rebel leader or stay out of the fight. But after Trace and Rafa talk to Hunter about standing up for themselves against the new Empire, I think that they're going to confront Crosshair. And yeah, Axe to the Max, I like your thinking here. I think Hunter's mind was definitely swayed by Trace and Rafa, and I love that that duo had such an impact on the leader of the Bad Batch. Plus, we are definitely overdue to see crosshair, so this is a real possibility. But that said, let's move on to another community comment. Thirandu simply says Wrecker's chip will fully activate, and Did Monkey states something similar, stating Wrecker will go full, good soldiers follow orders, and at the end of the episode, Rex will show up. And this is absolutely an interesting story thread that has been hinted at just about every week, that Wrecker is going to fully activate, he's really going to lose his ability to make decisions, but with that prediction comes a big question, and that is what exactly is going to trigger Wrecker into becoming fully activated? Are the Bad Batch going to run into a Jedi like Ahsoka Tano or Quinlan Voss, or is it going to be something else that activates them? However it does happen, it's certainly going to help us understand Order 66 quite a bit more, as well as the inhibitor chips. But let's move on now to the Medieval Man 9 who stated the Bad Batch are going to be sent on another job by Sid. They're definitely going to run into Finnick once again, who they'll manage to defeat, but in the process they're going to understand that there's something very wrong with Wrecker. And eventually they have to actually take down Wrecker as he thinks the rest of the Bad Batch are traitors. And after all this, at the end of the episode they're going to get a transmission. It's going to be Bail Organa and he tells them that they have a common enemy and they also have a common friend. And this is when we see Rex join the transmission. And yes Medieval Man 9 that would be a great ending to that episode. If you haven't read his full comment you should really go check it out. I had to summarize it. But yes I do agree with you that Wrecker, as I've stated before, is going to be the catalyst for the Bad Batch needing to find Rex. And it would certainly seem after the end of last week that it's much more likely that the Bad Batch are going to be found by Rex or Bail Organa than the Bad Batch is going to find Rex. But hey Star Wars fans, thanks for all your comments on the community tab. As always, I'm Mike, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.